Yeah, back on the Sportsbank Zone, it's been just over 24 hours since Elaine thompson Hira's management team confirmed their split from coach Shaniki Osborne. Recall now that Osborne started coaching the five-time Olympic gold medalist in July this year, following her fifth-place finish in the 100 metres at Jamaica's World Championship trials. However, the partnership was short-lived due to what her management team has described as excessive compensation demands now we are joined live on the sports max zone by darren hira he is the husband of elaine thompson hira and a lot has been said about darren hira in the social media space and i think just right across the country and many who have been following this story um darren first of all it's a pleasure to have you on the sports max zone good afternoon how are you doing i'm good pleasure to be on um, thanks for having me yeah. Yeah, first of all, Darren, I've never seen you in a public space doing an interview before now. Um, why did you feel the need to come on this time around? What's different? I mean, like, um, typically, I mean, um, you're going to see different stories for whatever reasons. And um, now I just let it pass because, I mean... I don't. I didn't see the need to come and explain so. But I think this year is a little bit. This coming season, I think um, I decided to approach things a little bit because at the end of the day, um, we are human, and um, I think all the stuff that's been going on from the time Elaine left MVP up until this moment, I think it's 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 was an attack, if you may wish. Certain time, the time you know. A little bit um, off, or you know, against her in a little sense. Um, me, for me, is not not really here nor there. Um, I know basically all the decisions that I make are all for the, the best to get the best out of um, situation for Elaine. However, this particular situation, no, it's it's. I don't. I don't. From my point of view, I didn't see the need for it to be really escalated. Um, Yes, me on on the side of fans or whoever. All right, yeah. it was ten seventy nine. So it is under the assumption that um, it it was because of the coaching setup. That coaching setup I was trying to get done from what twenty twenty two at the end of the twenty twenty two season. Um, I mean, believe it or not, Elaine did not plan to leave MPP. I was basically dragged into a situation. I had to coach her. I couldn't. I mean, you know, and, and Elaine is a, is a seasoned professional where she's been in our system for 10 years yeah. and she documents everything. So um, pretty much it, it's just a matter of following doctors in instructions and others because we're trying not to reinvent the wheel too much but at the same time try to make sure that she could stay in training which is the the most important part of it um i reached out to miss asburn then i mean from what this was september 2022 um but she was still at mvp at the time because i was trying to make sure that the change wasn't as drastic in terms of what she would have done in terms of um, track workouts and training routines and stuff. So that didn't work out. Um, throughout the, this, this year, as I mean, May, April, sometime there about about the situation in my phone, um, still didn't work out. So in the trials, I mean, Elaine wasn't able to train for about three months. She got to the trials, um, the championship, and um, basically, we thought she, you know, I mean, it's Elaine, so we are trying to make sure that she has the best opportunity of making a team um, against doctors and others. After the Trident Championship, she was basically advised to sit, sit out for two weeks, which she did. Um, while the championship was going on, I was in dialogue with Miss Osborne um, to 
um, mm -hmm. and Mr. Russell, basically, was pushing for that to happen. So, I mean, I had no issues because throughout the time I was trying to find a, a situation for her that would work. Um, so, after the championship, we decided to give it a try. Ms. Asburn was, as, was hesitant until his, Elaine was cleared to, to train by the doctors. Um, she took two weeks. Um, we're monitoring that. She came on the track. Um, she came on, got the workout. We, we did that, and that worked out well. So going into the championship, we decided to go, and whatever she needed to do, whatever the team needed her for, whether it be the East or the Finals or just to be there um, while she was training, um, she was there. Uh, as she, she continued training and she progressed, um, the pain basically what became minimal. Um, we be basically just kept on going, going, and we find, found some meets that she could, uh, you know, get to compete in after the championship. And it, and, it, and it worked out where she ended the season at 10.79. Okay, so basically it's just like easing into a situation. Um, at that point, we didn't discuss anything about compensation or anything like that. Um, as soon as the season ended in September, I was trying to sort the situation out in terms of coming to an agreement where um, payments and finances were concerned. Um, due to an existing, I mean, obviously, Elaine would have gotten a, uh, had an existing contract with different sponsors. Um, typically, a coach would, would earn um, 10 to 15 percent in a normal situation. Elaine's situation is not as such. Is that it, it does, there's no coach on it. She did her contract herself. So I am not on it as a coach. There's no coach on it. So it's basically for her to work or whatever the salary would be between her and the coach. Because you cannot disclose um, the terms or the figures on the contract. So I think that was initially an issue where I was trying to communicate that to Ms. Asbury that I cannot. She she kept she insisted on on, on um fifteen percent, which I basically was trying to explain that I cannot give fifteen percent. Obviously, if I say if I give you a figure, and you go and divide that figure by fifteen percent by point one five, you basically you will be at the actual figure. Yeah, ho so, ho ho hold it there for a second, Darren. Let me see if I can get some context in here in terms of when the negotiation started mm -hmm. um, about her remuneration for um, the next year. You're saying that she wanted 15%, which she has said, by the way, in an article that mm -hmm. was published on sportsmax.tv earlier today. Um, and she was sticking out for that 15%. At some point, though, I get the impression that it was said to her that percentage is not going to work. And what she said is that you kept pushing for her to give a figure um, that would um, essentially be her remuneration, even though what she really wanted was the 15 percent. Right, because I, I didn't want to propose a figure that she wouldn't be comfortable with. And I did not necessarily want the back and forth drawn out situation. So I, I asked her to give me a figure that she was comfortable with. Yeah. And then we could work from there. It, is it, um, is, is I it did not get a figure. So I, I gave a proposal. Yes. Um, she, she, the moment I gave the proposal, she instantly said that she didn't want it. Um, Elaine was away at the time. Um, so I communicated this to Elaine. Um, and then she met with Elaine, and after that meeting, I guess they assumed that Elaine was agreeing, but that wasn't the situation. I went back to her again, tried to, um, after the meeting, I went back to her a couple of days after, um, to, to try to come at an agreement, and basically that did not happen, and then she said she had an agent or a manager that she would, the same person that the, basically this was is, in the this is, this is Damia department. Russell, and this is how he, he entered Correct. the conversation. Yeah. Right. Entered the conversation. She said that he would be, I, I was hesitant a bit, but then I wanted to work, so I wasn't really, I didn't want a third party to come in to discuss 
um, such personal stuff that I mean she was she was okay with it so I went ahead so it was our first conversation it went as if we could reach an agreement where because I had presented an offer with a lot of bonuses with high bonuses there was a base but the bonuses were high since Elaine already had a contract in existence and she had nothing to do with Elaine getting this contract uh, so it is know her work that she would be basically um, compensated for. So whatever Elaine did in this com upcoming season, she would be getting 15% of everything from that, plus her base. Um, they thought maybe the base was, because I gave her higher base than um, bonuses than normal on this um, deal that I gave. So this mediator, manager, agent, whichever way you want to put it. He, we talked this as the Saturday, and he said, okay then, uh, maybe the bonuses were too high, so would you be okay to take down the bonuses a bit and bring up the base? I said, no problem, just come up with something that you guys are comfortable with. The following morning, which was a Sunday morning, um, he sent me a figure by text. But he sent me a, a, a proposal by text. So the figure on the proposal, I thought it was a, a mistake. I thought that it was, you know, like maybe you write a figure and you write an additional zero, an extra zero on it. That's what I thought. So I sent the figure back with a question sign and asked if this is what the figure is. He said, yes, he knows. He knew what he sent. So... I asked him to rework that the mat the mats and that. Um, Duran, can you give said, us any idea of what that figure was? <laughs> the figure, the figure is. I can tell that is over 100 million Jamaican dollars, pretty much. Put it that way. Per year. Per year, and I asked him that per is this what you want per year? He said yes. G give us an so, idea in the US. In US, is 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 in excess of it's a little less than a million dollar US dollars per year. What? A bit less, because the bonuses and everything were, were still a in there. A million US dollars. Correct, correct, correct. Um, so that's the figure I sent. So then I, I worked the maths and I said, um, you do know this is X percentage of almost five of over four million US dollars, right? And he was there and hold it right there. Exactly what the, sent. Yeah, there and hold it right there. We we have to go to a break. And when I mean a break, I mean a break for the end of <laughs> today's show. We want to thank all our viewers for joining us on the Sports Mag Zone today, Lance and Mariah. We have to run, but tell you what, you can catch the remainder of this interview with Darren Era during tomorrow's Sports Mag Zone. We start at 4.30 Jamaica time, 5.30 ECT. Join us then.